everybody welcome back Charlene Adzema here again with Irish Fiddle Foundations and I wanted to continue our work on John Kelly's concertina reel um, and we're going to do let's see last week we did uh, we talked about variation methods right uh, this week I was struggling a bit to figure out what we might do and uh, one concept I like to give to my students to kind of give them a, a hand up is to use a technique I like to call footholds you know, foothold is where you uh, give someone, you know, a specific part of the tune, um, you know, that you want played a certain way, but the rest of it you can kind of play however you like as long as you aim to get to where you're going. Okay, and I'll, I'll, let me let me give you a, well, let's just, let's just do it, okay? So, um, first of all, John Kelly's concertina reel, we got to look at the map here, okay, so... Bing. There's our map. Now you know our A part is pretty good there um, with our uh, pink boxes and orange boxes and yellow box. Yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty good. B part's a little bit more complicated and I did kind of even it out for you there uh, with the whole, uh, you know, same green box and, and uh, different endings of, of the blue boxes and, and then a full like completely different ending. Guess what? You see that crazy little ending at the end there? Um, it's uh, that's gonna be your foothold so we're actually gonna start at the end okay so the ending notes are look they go like this okay and then of course we get some pickups which we'll deal with later um, but let's just let's just keep the phrase separate so go ahead uh, low two on the E string G natural open E F sharp, E again, D, B, B, A, and D. We'll do it again. I'm gonna leave some notes out. Let's see if you can fill them in. You ready? Do it again. Did you get the F sharp? All right. Did you get the D? All right, I'll stop that. It's a bit, it's a bit more helpful in person, I think, but uh, I thought I'd give it a shot here. Okay, cool. So um, hopefully you've had enough time to practice those notes. Um, now I want to make sure that we get the bowings. And the bowing is kind of integral to our foothold. All right. This phrase is going to start up bow. How many slurs did you notice? Let's do it again. Did you count two? Which direction did they go? Up or down? Both. First one was up, second one was down. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, how many notes are in each of those slurs? Here we go. Now, uh, what notes are they? E, F sharp. B, A. Now, I love mnemonics. I love patterns. Anything that helps me remember anything. And one interesting aspect of this is we go uh, down bow from an A to a first finger on E. Um, or sorry, from E to first finger on E. And we do up bow from first finger on A to open A. I think that's a interesting, useful pattern. Uh, see if that works for you. Here we go. You can get some air time. Woo! This is kind of cool, right? There you go. Okay, cool. 
so um, now we got to practice a new technique, which is uh, playing whatever we want and aiming for starting up bow on our foothold. Okay, so I'd like you just to let's see what 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 are the notes we're gonna play. Hmm. All right. So that's that's actually what green and the uh, blue block. Let's just look in. Yeah, green and blue block before that purple ending. Okay, go away. So here we go. Um, let's get the green block. B E E C D E F. Let's do that just that much. Now that blue block is going to sound like this. Little pickup note, D, E, D. And then B, C, uh, well, B, C sharp, D. And that, you see that D, B, A? That's that D, B, A at the end, okay? So it goes. So do green. I hope you've been playing one note per bow. That is the, the simplest way to kind of get through a tune. And uh, well, let's see what happens. Let's start down bow and see what direction our bow goes when we hit. Here we go. Hey, success! One note per bow works great. Now, to be fair, though, uh, this tune really lends itself to um, to slurs. And if you're like a math person like me, or um, you, or even a you know, visual person imagining all these notes, if you if you can put if you slur two together, that means now your bowing is going to be opposite at the end, right? So let's let's try that. Why not there? See, I ended up bow, but we can uh, we can change that in one of two ways. We could add another two note slur, or we could you know turn that two note slur into a three note slur. Ah, oh, it's too complicated. Let's just add another two note slur. Let's see where shall we put it? Find a spot. It's okay to just kind of find a spot right now. How about there? That's nice. That works. Let's do it again. beans. Now, um, I'd like you to do an exercise here where you just find slurs and um, you can get pretty fancy with it. Like if you wanted to chart it out or, or whatnot, that's fine. Um, but I highly recommend just um, trying and, and failing a lot uh, to kind of get the hang of like, okay, I just, my job is just to get to an up bow, be ready to play an up bow, which means you need to end that phrase down bow. Right. Okay. So, um, so here we go. Green, blue, purple. Everybody just give it a shot. Um, try some two note slurs, throw in a three note slur. If you like, I've, I've got another spot for that. Watch. Here we go. Ooh. And then is that now the reason I like the foothold is that you can um, have a set bowing set notes that you are planning to play but then you have a certain amount of freedom with the rest of the notes especially since these are actually pretty repetitive right we've got uh, oh, let's look again green block blue block green block blue block green block blue block purple block all right yeah so we can change things up uh, using our bows 
Um, let's, uh, in fact, while we're here, let's uh, go ahead and we already know the first green and first blue, but let's just check in on that um, that the, the dead blue, D-E-D, -E -D, right? So we did the green. And now we're going to do the dead blue. D-E-D, -E -D, right? So that's kind of like an in-between phrase, right? It doesn't want to end there, definitely, right? Um, I'm going to do it again. Another way you can remember that is that first D is the held D, right? And the other ones are, are pickups, right? So um, I'm going to just play the whole B part. And you just uh, go ahead and enjoy the notes for now, all right? Let's just do it. So we got to get our notes and then we got to practice just ending down bow, right? You have, you have lots of space. There's so much space. Don't get too caught up in the actual math behind it. It's not important. All, all it takes is a change in bow or adding a slur, right? It's not a big deal. Adding a note to a slur. All right. Um, so I am going to put on my website uh, a version of this tune as I hear I heard it um, played on the... Um, Seamus Connolly and Laurel Martin uh, album and book, uh, Forget Me Not, which everyone should go out and get. Maybe I'll find a, a link or something. And, um, and I listened to it, and they, they didn't put Boeings in the book, which is fine. Um, because in Irish music, like I said, we don't really talk about Boeings all that much. But if you want a little help, we've got a foothold for you. Okay, and uh, the other Boeings I've thrown on here are what I think they're doing, and uh, you're welcome to use them or interchange them because hey we've got a lot of repetition right all right well let's give this a shot um that b part and uh, we're gonna end your job your one and only job is to get through those notes and uh, end that one phrase down bow so you can start the ending phrase up bow that's it here we go That's uh, the B part for John Kelly's concertina reel, and we talked about using footholds, which is a way to uh, a different way to think about bowing. We we make one bowing and phrase very firm, and uh, then we just kind of play around that until we get to our foothold. And um, I think that's a that's a good foundational technique for those of you um, getting interested in playing Irish music. All right, well, stay tuned for next week, and we'll see what's up on deck then. All right, all the best.